What's up guys, Video Edge back here for another edition of Deep Town. Today we're going to be talking through part one of the Deep Town expansion, the terraforming expansion, which is all about the ozone layer and managing that as it requires specific management in order to get it exactly right. Uh, it can be quite challenging so we're going to run through the basics here to help you guys get started. First of all, uh, we've gone ahead and already built our oxygenium and our nitrogenium towers. Uh, as you can see here, um, which is what the, the first two steps in creating your creating your um, atmosphere within your deep town expansion. Um, these both require oxygen and nitrogen to run. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've just set off a new wave of oxygen and nitrogen we, that we've built previously in the crafting station, uh, and we're going to get those underway. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to get those sorted. Um, we've already made a couple of steps and uh, as you can see those bars are filling up um, depending on the, the number of um, cycles that you go through. Uh, we've already done a few here just to get, get ahead of ourselves and show you guys what's going on. So you basically repeat this process um, over a number of days uh, and watch these gradually build up. As you can see they are, they are slowly filling up this bar and that little center with the arrows in the middle that's it that's the perfect place that you want to be um, it requires a lot more nitrogen than oxygen 80% uh, nitrogen to 20% oxygen in order to get the perfect balance uh, you need to run more nitrogen cycles in order to get this right so we're going to gradually keep building this up until we hit that sweet spot uh, and keep running these oxygenium cycles until we get to the final bit now we're there we can see um, we've made it into the perfect atmosphere. We've got the 20% oxygen, 80% nitrogen. Uh, and the next part here is to build your ozone layer. Now, otherwise your your gases will slowly release and that, that bar will slow down uh, and gradually dissipate. Uh, now to do this, you need to build that the eczema laser, uh, which is built in the crafting station it only takes 30 minutes to build and once you've built it you need to go back into your terraforming tab and deploy it on top of your previous towers now it takes 12 hours to build we're going to skip ahead to for the purpose of the video uh, and once that's built you can see here it takes owner's eyes and modules uh, in order to run they are also built in the crafting station um, they don't take very long to build and once you've gone ahead and built them that will then power that tower. So we're going to go ahead and build a few here um, so you can see how this actually works. The thing to note as, it, as it's coming up here is the more you use this the more oxygen that's going to deplete from your atmosphere so you need to remember as you are using this to also run the oxygen um, tower to, to keep those levels replenished and as you can see here the ozone layer is slowly building up um, after we've used this tower. Now we're going to skip ahead here to show you exactly what happens. As you can see the ozone tab has slightly filled up after that cycle however the oxygen has depleted slightly so we're not at that sweet spot anymore as we were previously so we need to run the oxygenium again to refill those oxygen levels uh, and then you basically repeat this cycle again until you have the ozone layer complete. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch. Please do give us a like and um, stay tuned for the next part in the terraforming expansion.